Hi everyone, my name is Inhaxed and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. So here we are overlooking the closest gas zone to the base. There's a green power slug there in the middle. I've remotely built those uh, little foundation pieces so I can get in there and get it. Ah, and that's overlooking the base. We're just near the copper mine. You can see the copper mine running there, a little truck stop, a little truck trundling with some copper ingots back to the base there. Now I have to be careful because I'm, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't wearing my jetpack. I need to switch back. Yeah, we've got a few things running at the base that are going to take a while and rather than standing around I might as well do a bit of exploring. Collect a few of these power slugs that I can now access because I've got the gas mask now, of course. We still have another milestone there to finish, which is the Katerium Kater stuff. Not far off. Got most of the parts just uh, doing the last few for the motors. So there's a big land bridge across the valley here, which we'll be able to have a look at in just a moment. And a couple of a couple more power slugs too. So we might go collect them as well. Have a bit of a look around. I've never really been to this part of the map before. It looks fantastic, of course. There's probably more pods hidden around there somewhere too. I'll have to see what happens when I've finally unlocked everything. See what kind of tools I've got. Oh, okay. One of the Mercer spheres. These don't actually do anything in this version of the game. I don't know if they do anything in the uh, experimental version yet either. I wanted to try out the game uh, as it was the stable version before I tried out the experimental version. If there's any more besides these two. I get to do a bit of jet packing, which is always a bit of fun. After I collect a few pale berries, maybe. Just in case. Not what I was actually trying to do, but never mind. I think the uh, next unlocks are the geothermal power plant. the geysers, being able to detect geysers to build the plants on. But at this stage I really don't need any more power. Uh, we've already set up a stable power supply and power grid. Lots of pale berries and lots of the barrel nuts, but what I really need is the bacon agaric mushrooms. Because if I can get a few of those, I can make some of the uh, the healing inhalers, medicinal inhalers. I think that's what they're called.
save a little bit of a walk. Except now I'm not quite sure if I'm on the right level for it. The other one is somewhere down there. Oh, there it is. I wonder what the little hexagonal hemispheres are. I mean, they don't look like they look like natural structures created by some kind of life form rather than being structures built by uh, a tool using race or species, I should say. actually seen uh, mushrooms that look a bit like that. Much smaller, of course. Might as well leave that there, I guess. I could recycle the tower, but it's, it's not very much resources. I might as well leave it there. Go and park this, and then we might head over to the oil area. See about some crashed pods. And here we are at the oil refinery. Which is a couple of k's from base, I guess. And now a special pre-built bridge here to get us across to the island next to where the pod is. Not 
no special reason to have a bridge there except that I wanted to make sure that I didn't uh, go too deep in the water and see if I could do it as well whether the game would let me build across the water now that's the obstacle they're a plasma version of the guys that fire fire at you and they have a little thing that will actually float in the air and fire at me independently while it shoots as well so not something we want to get too close to I'll try and get I don't think go is within range with the gun fortunately that or it's incredibly tough and it didn't even feel it now it looks like there's two more hiding in the bushes there but a different kind it looks like the the kind that charge but don't actually have a distance attack a ranged attack I should say very interesting looking beastie very deadly to me though I'm gonna have to get rid of him oh. I'm a compulsive reloader at times I got lucky, you got caught on the edge of the truck there, it looks like. Looks like the other two have headed over to the other side of the island, so I've probably got time to grab all the loot and get out of here without having to kill them. Uh, some good stuff too. The less computers I have to make and uh, heavy modular frames, heavy modular frames aren't too much of a problem since we've got an automated system to make them. Oh, here we go. A hard drive. That'll have an alternate recipe for something. Reinforced plate. Cable. don't see anything else that I should investigate or disturb. Just some unpleasant hives. Though I must admit I haven't been up close to one of the ones with the crystals yet. Oh! There must be a patch of water that's uh, too deep there but the truck rolls forward enough to get out of it which is really lucky because otherwise the truck would be stuck there There's at least one more power slug nearby here, uh, which we can grab. And then I think we're going to go and have a bit of a look around. And see if we can see anything interesting around here. I know there's got to be more pods around. And I believe I've seen some around here. First we should load up though. Shouldn't take long. Or they don't actually jump in the truck instead of opening up the inventory. It shouldn't take long anyway. I'll make a bit of space in my inventory so that I can transfer the stuff. Transfer the oil more easily. Bigger batches.
starting to think I might need to turn down the settings a little bit on this. As the base and uh, the more things I built, basically, it started to, uh, the performances started to be affected. Which isn't surprising. I'm guessing this is an edge. I could try going for a walk, I suppose. The truck definitely won't make it past the shallows. There is rock formations all the way down there. They certainly look like something I could actually climb on. certainly looks like it's been carved for people to walk on, or something to walk on anyway. Try not to get the truck bogged. There's our first green power slug. There we go. Now, where to from here? I'm less interested in finding more power slugs than I am in actually just exploring to see what's here.
bit of an opening over here. I probably won't be able to take the truck in, but... More of those strange hexagonal things. At least the holes appear to be hexagons. Okay. Time to beat up some flaming bees. Fortunately, doesn't look like shooting them is going to help. I'm still going to actually have to kill the bees, looks like. I suppose I could try and snipe them with the rifle, but I think I'm a lot better off just meleeing them. It's just a matter of timing to catch them, usually. I'll probably take a bit of damage, of course. Convenient. The carapaces they leave behind uh, are worth a lot of biomaterial. If I needed uh, a lot of biofuel, it would be one way to get it, I guess. get me very much which is good. Not much point shooting them probably. Oh I wonder where that came from. Ah couldn't get close enough. I think once I managed to get close enough to break it before it could spawn the bees. Probably because of the slope. I should have used my jetpack, probably. Though unless I can get a run up, it wouldn't have helped. <laughs> well, I think that's all of them. Those ones certainly hurt a bit more. Oh. Certainly looks dead, but it's offering me the option to pat it. It's a bit sad, isn't it? I wonder if he's the only one. I mean, I've only seen one. I think. Or maybe I've seen different ones. I've only ever seen one at a time, I should say. Yeah, this one's dead, definitely. I don't think offering it food is going to help much. Oh well. Oh, and he's disappeared, so he was definitely dead, I think. I don't know how it died, of course. It's a bit strange. Maybe it fell from above. I guess that's possible. Maybe one of the bees got it. But that's a bit strange, too, because there would be a bee still. Unless it then came and attacked me. One of those mysteries I will probably never know the answer to. Oh, 
Oh, there's a live one. That's good. They don't seem to like me much, though. I probably wouldn't like me either. I am doing terrible things to their planet at the moment. Don't seem to be any of them hanging around the camp anymore. Oh, stuff. That's always good. Yes, probably need that on now. Especially the way YouTube darkens everything. I think that's... oh yeah, okay. So, for the first time I've seen more than one together. This must be, I guess, where they live. Interesting. Then they were also on the surface. Lots more pale berries, but I haven't got room. There's probably no reason to really make room for them either. I might just keep looking. Wow. One little hole up there. I'd probably be a little bit upset if I accidentally stepped into that, not knowing that there was a big cave down here. Some fantastic waterfalls. Probably a good spot for a photo mode photo. That's a thumbnail for sure. Oh! And the power slug. So are the power slugs the rulers of the planet? Oh, yeah, okay. Thought it was a little bit too easy. Just keep swinging, you'll get there eventually. Sorry Mr. Power Slug, you're going in my bag. I think it might be time to think about trying to get out. Interesting though, it looks like the roots of the trees coming down through the roof. Or at least those strange curved arch trees. If they are trees, they could be, uh, I don't know, fungus again? Who knows? Still looks like there's more to explore, too. I do hope they still keep working on this game. It, I have been really enjoying it. Hard to say, it almost looks like there's something over there. Almost, maybe, well, could be wishful thinking, but I almost thought it looked like another pod over there. Never tried to break down any of the big objects, the big uh, arch trees. Finding the way back out. This looks familiar.
meglio And night has fallen outside Now for a drive back home. Another cave it looks like, or at least some kind of valley. Oh, a power slug. We can't really afford to drive past. One bullet left. There we go. That'll make a space in my inventory. Well, it's been a good day for finding power slugs, that's for sure. This is the only really tricky bit on the route. A little bit of a sharp corn, the corner, and the, uh, the narrow spacing of the trees here. There's still a big tunnel actually that leads off from down at the bottom here that I haven't tried because of the gas. Last time I tried to drive through in a truck though, I choked, so... Looks like I've got to go through on foot and then maybe go, either keep going on foot or build a truck on the other side. 
Oh, just in time. We can follow him back and not have to worry about having a head on like uh, last time. Well, that's funny. I wonder what it must have come down a bit fast. Oh, we should be back at base in plenty of time before he comes up behind us. sunrise just as we arrive back it's funny this little lizard parrot here always seems to be halfway across the road when I come through I still haven't run him over and if he is always at that point when someone comes through the truck the other truck on automatic is also programmed to go around him Almost there. So much junk. <laughs> what am I going to do with it all? Check these machines. Plastic stopped because it's full. That should get the refinery running again. Looks like I've got a bunch more housekeeping stuff to do, so we might climb to the top of the tower and I'll bid you farewell. Have a great day or night, wherever you are, and I shall see you tomorrow. I'll leave you with this wonderful view over the base.